Hi, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to be looking at the flex layouts and we have been able to consider the grid, which I said the difference between the grid layouts and the flex layouts is that the grid is two dimensional, while flex layout is just one dimension. And we are going to be seeing that with practical example now. So what you just need to do is for us to sit in action, let's define a div. With a class of container now the dvd class of container let's just put some item in there i can just call it class of item i call this item one and let me just duplicate this to have maybe two or three yeah, three should be fine three should be fine so this should be three and this should be two so now for simplicity's sake, I'm going to be writing the CSS as internal CSS. That means I'm going to be writing it inside the HTML file. So this is, I'm going to be writing the CSS in the head tag, but it's not advisable. Like you can just go to the CSS file and just write your CSS bar. So that we just, we don't need to be navigating between two different files. Let's just maintain this particular file. So we will be writing our CSS in this type tag. So the first thing you should do is that container that you want to position as your flex flex layout. You should don't forget that when you are tagging the class, you should tag it with dots dots. So I'm going to be setting display to flex, just like we have display grid. This is display flex. Now let's save and let's see what is happening on our page. Now before the display flex. If I comment this out and I save, you see that because the div is block element, they are all displayed on a different line, on a separate line. But when you attach display flex, it's going to bring all to the same line. So that's the first effect of display flex. But so that we're going to see what we are doing practically, let's just add some border to our item item let's set the width to maybe 100 pixel the height the height to maybe 100 pixel to let's add some border all around it let's add some border all around it let's make it one pixel solid solid black so if you save it now if you save it now yeah, you can see that we have our flex. Now, this is what I want us to do now. In setting your flex, you can... Firstly, you can have your justify content. Justify content. This is the horizontal alignment. The horizontal alignment add. And you can take either flex start. Flex start. Flex that so it's got, everything is going to align to the beginning of the flex, which is this. Now, if you want it to go to the right hand side of your page, you assign it to flex, and you can see that it has been aligned to the end of my page. Now, I can also set it to center if I want it to be centrally aligned horizontally. I can also set it to center, and you see that it moves to the center. You can also have space between, space between is there's going to be. It's going to be it's going to have equal space in between them. So you see that the flex are well space and they are equally space. I can also have space around so this is the opposite of space between in that there will be equal space around the flex. So you can see that the space around the flex and you can also have space evenly start and left, right, and so on and so forth. But yeah, so but the most popular ones that we have seen and we also have the this is the this is the horizontal horizontal alignment horizontal alignment now for the vertical alignment you use align items this is the so you know that normally it's always display as a row so it has a row so if you want to be displayed as a column, you just set the align item to 
that sorry this align item is a vertical alignment vertical alignment just like justify content is horizontal alignment the align item is a vertical alignment so i want it to begin from the top i just put it as that so it's going to start from the top and i can also set it just like we have for the justify content just like we have flex that flex and flex and so on and so forth so you can also have that same values for both align item and flex that flex and flex and flex you can also have it as center you can have it as start start and baseline and so on and so forth baseline and you can also have it as space space around and you can also have it as space space between so this is just like you can apply that for those values for the choice file content you can also apply the same for align item so let's try flex end vertically now so if i want to try flex end let's save it now yeah because our flex does not have height so it will maintain that height so if i set the height to let's say set the height to maybe under which so you can see that it goes down the page so that is that about vertical alignment but i'm going to bring that back up now you can also set the flex direction maybe you want it to be vertically or horizontally so you can set the flex direction flex direction which can either be row so it's currently row now because it's horizontal so if you want it to be vertical you can set it to column you can set it to column so you see that you have it as you have it as column it's display as as column let me let me comment out this let me just say starts let me set this to start yeah so that is so the flex direction too can also be column reverse column reverse means that it's going to pick the last item first item three first then item one last so you can also have row reverse too so row reverse whereby you start with the last item item three start with the last item and end with the first item and also for your flexed items which are the side of the flex element now you can also set their flex like how much space do you want them to take so if i set this to flex one and i come here maybe i have item two i have item two i can set this to maybe flex four or five now let me come here and set this class to item two if i save it now you see that the middle one will take a greater space because i'm making it take more space now this is flex so if you want the item to be bigger than each other then use this flex to set how big you want them to be but by default they are going to take the same size and the same space so if you want them to take different proportion of space then use this number to set the spacing proportion